Hey everyone, I'm Mike and I have opinions. I'm sure most people remember the infamous Cinemax Friday After Dark programming block, otherwise known as Skinemax. Oh yeah. Oh, it was the halcyon days when I was but an adolescent with no real knowledge of girls, other than they weren't so icky anymore. And then came Cable. Man, kids today, they have no clue what it was like before cable. Hell, before Fox got here, we only had three channels. Well, technically five if you add the UHF stations in there, and when Fox showed up, it took over one of those, at least for us. Man, that was a big to-do, but not as much as cable. To get back onto point, and I do have one, this was also before you ubiquitous internet access. Oh yeah, I can hear you gasp in horror. There was a few dial-up services, but ah, the less said about those, the better. Anyway, there was no easy way to get porn. Not really. I only remember one kid in the neighborhood having that beat-up old Playboy that every neighborhood seems to have. So, what was there for the young porn seeker to do? The answer? Cable. Before we could get movies that and TV online, my family had all the movie channels. HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, the movie channel. Yeah, clever naming scheme, wasn't it? And and I think for a brief time we even had multiple feeds for each coast, for HBO at least. I might be remembering that wrong though. Premium cable was the holy land of porn as far as a horny teenager was concerned. And I'm not even embarrassed to say that. I mean, we were all there at one point, whether we want to admit it or not. There were two blocks of programming that served those needs for me. One was Joe Bob Briggs. He's worth a show all on his own, to be honest with you. I might get to that someday. And the other was Cinemax Friday After Dark. Well, Joe Bob tend to cover the more humorous movies, and I'm talking the so-bad-it's-good kind. Cinemax After Dark... Well, let's just say you weren't watching any of these movies for the plot. Uh, for a given definition of plot. I mean, these were movies with titles like The Hills Have Thighs, Femme Fatales, and Illicit Dreams. Oh, and who can forget the inimitable and quite infamous Emmanuel series? Sheesh, folks. I can't help but feel just a little nostalgia for Skinamax now that it's going away. I mean, I'm not going to make any apologies for watching that stuff, even if it wasn't very good. And it wasn't good. Uh, and in some cases, it was bad. Really bad. But it was a point in my life where me and a lot of other people my age were willing to go to great lengths to see that elusive naked. Even watching scrambled cable, you could just that one little nip slip through all the static. We're going through the major changes that came with adolescence, and we were willing to do anything to get off. And guys, if you think the girls weren't in the same damn situation, then you are fucking deluded. Eh, what do you want from me? I have no shame. You ought to know that by now. Anyway, have a good week. We'll see you on Wednesday, and then again on Friday. Until then, I have opinions, and so should you.